Hello guys, in this video we will see LED blinking with transistor. This is the breadboard connection. This is our circuit diagram for this project. Just pause the video and see carefully. For this project we need two NPN transistor. I have taken BC548 to electrolyte capacitor. I have chosen 100 microfarad to 10 kilo ohms resistor to 100 ohm resistor and some LEDs and for connection with breadboard and jumper wires. Okay, now let's start the connection according to the circuit diagram. First put the transistor here just like this now both the base of the transistor goes to power supply positive through 10 kilo ohm resistor so I am connecting this resistor here meter goes to ground I am first connecting both the emitters and then to the ground now we will put C1 and C2 like this so I am keeping this side is negative and this side is positive side okay you can see here now positive lead is connected with 100 ohms resistor we'll connect to resistor here After that cathode of the LED is connected to the resistor and anode is to the positive supply. Okay. So I'm connecting this. Both the LEDs. connection is completed now negative lead of C2 is connected to base of the transistor 1 so I'm taking this side is 2 and this side is 1 so T1 C1 T2 and C2 so negative lead of C2 is connected to base of the T1 just like this negative lead of C1 is connected to base of the T2 ok now collector of T1 is connected to positive lead of C1 collector of C Transistor 2 is connected to positive lead of capacitor 2. Okay. Like this, our circuit is completed. Now let's let's check it. Yes, it is working. So this is how we have completed our breadboard connection for this circuit. Now let's move to PCB soldering. Okay. So for the PCB circuit board connection, we need one printer circuit board, dotted printer circuit board. Okay, like this. And one switch, one female connector. 
like this for this PCB I have chosen these LEDs and the rest of the other thing is same as before to transistor to capacitor and for resistor okay now let's start the connection now for this I will first put two transistor like this and both of the emitter of two transistor I'll keep them closer so I put this transistor just opposite vertically flipped like this ok after flipping the board just bend one lead of the transistor it will be easier for soldering now transistor is soldered now I am going to connect 10 kilo ohm resistor with the bases of the transistor now connect the capacitor with the collector of two transistor ok so positive lead of capacitor is going to this transistor capacitor is connected now we are going to connect the 100 ohm resistor with the collector of both transistor ok now it's time to place our LEDs here I am using 6 LEDs 3 white and 3 blue since all the anode is common so I am bending the anode of the LEDs outside of the circle because I am going to put this LED in a, in a circular way now this two lead is cathode of the LEDs and anode of the white LEDs you can see I have put it only one LED so the circular way is the circular way will be like this okay so all the anode of the LEDs will be outside of the circle and inside is only for cathode the three cathode of white LEDs and three L cathode would be blue LEDs so all three and three will be common
like this our six LEDs connection is completed but I think this white LED is misplaced it should be a little bit left side but it's okay okay now let's connect the LEDs with the main circuit now LED connection is completed white for the white LEDs blue wire for the blue LEDs now negative lead of capacitor is connected to the base of the transistor now negative lead of capacitor 2 is connected to base of the transistor 1 now connect other end of 10 kilo ohm resistor make this two common for positive power supply these two now it's time to connect both the emitters now connect anode of the LEDs to the power supply like this our circuit is completed now let's check the circuit I think it is working yes it is working okay so uh, this is how we have completed our breadboard connection and the PCB connection for this LED blinking with transistor circuit since everything is okay so now we are going to connect uh, the switch and the female connector for this circuit Here it is the female connector. You can connect anywhere of the circuit. I'm connecting here. I'm going to connect this switch. SPST single pole single throw. After soldering the switch and the female connector now I have to connect this with two wires okay the ground of the circuit is directly connected to the female connector like this and the positive of the circuit through the switch and then we are going to connect with the female connector now our whole circuit is completed now check it for the final test so I'm connecting here and this side is negative now switch is off now let's on it off now again on ok so finally done ok this is all for today if you like this video then please share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.